These are twist ties. Today I want to talk a little bit about our. Oh, so what? One of the things I see right here is he's using hangers, and that's a just a homemade deal to hold the chain link up so that when we stand it up, it doesn't fall down on us. Because once it starts falling, you don't stop it. Hangers that we use. It's a pipe, inch and three eighths, cold roll rod that's bent on it in a little shape like this. And we actually use these hangers or temporary hangers to when we're running out the chain link fence while we're rolling it out on the ground or if it's coming out of our instant machine we're going to use this to hang the fence with it and how i use it i just pass it through the the chain link mesh and i hang it on top the top rail so i'll demonstrate that real quick and i just pop it through and just hang it on like so so it holds it'll hold right here okay so this will hold it up to about the right height that i want for when it comes time to tying i will leave those hangers there until I actually tie. Uh, when I come time to tie in it, so a lot of times it will want to fall a little bit too low here. So what most of my customers and myself will do is just turn them up so it's nice and straight like this. It raises it that half inch further, which allows about a little bit of a diamond to come up here. So we used to use these hangers and sometimes I think the guys still do. Uh, we didn't do one exactly like that so we had our pipe that came up and then we just bent some truss rod with a little hook that came over and one of the reasons that we stopped using the hangers is because if the wire wasn't on the ground it didn't have support it would create a hump right where those hangers were especially if we stretched it pretty tight or if there was a lot of weight there and it would take us a lot longer to dress out so um, these are really good uh, I'm hoping that he's going to talk about how you don't want to, if you're holding your wire up with these hangers, you don't want to have them behind a post so that as you stretch the wire, the hanger gets hung up on the barbed wire top or the loop cap. You want to have them ahead of the post in the direction that you're stretching. So we'll see what he has to say about that. Make it look a little better for a chain link fence. And that's how I usually dress my fences. So I'd turn all my hangers like this before I tie them. Okay. But the hangers are then taken off after it's tied and then reused so you don't have to waste them. I'll put one of these hangers typically after every line post as it's coming out of the Instinct machine. The Instinct machine, it, it does pull it pretty tight so it dresses it somewhat. Uh, it takes out those sways just because of the tension behind it. And if I put this behind it, it'll actually hold that, that dressing from swooping down with every 10 foot. So we never used ours every 10 foot. We would do them every 20 or 30 feet, just enough to keep it from falling over. One of the reasons, like I said, is because we would get a little ridge. It just made a hump that we would have to go back and dress the fence out and pull that out. But anytime your wire's up off the ground, if it's only supported in one spot, you have you have a high probability that it'll kind of peak your wire right there and it's it can be tough to, to dress that out. But what they would be proud of us for is one of the things we've gone to is using easy twist ties from LNC Enterprises. And so on top rail, we use a two and three eighths easy twist tie, which is quite a bit larger. And we'll just try and get one twist on it, just enough to hold it so it can't come off. And what that allows that to do is it doesn't hang the wire, but it lets it ride on the ground so that it stays more even. And we don't get those humps when we do that, but yet we're still getting the effect of not having it fall off. Then we come back behind that and we use what we call our turbo lever or somebody had called it a turbo lever. We call it a top rail dressing rake that helps us hold that wire up. When we're tying but we use this method for a long time and there's other companies out there making this uh, i know that modern fence technology makes some i think what they're calling is banana clips that you can uh, hang chain link with but if i'm doing it by hand sometimes i'm going to put them on every five foot just to keep it dressed a little better before i stretch it and then the video right behind his head here you can see where you've got some of those droops in the wire and that's that's what we're trying to pull out uh, Another thing to mention is, is he is dressing it what I would call the correct way, and that is a half a diamond. So the top diamond is centered on the top rail. So the middle of the top diamond is centered on the middle of the top rail. I see a lot of people that want to tie that low, or sometimes they'll let it get high, and that's that would be improper. And that's also another reason why I like to use aluminized fabric instead of galvanized fabric. Is that The main reason is there is because it will dress typically better unless it's pre-galv, which will dress itself very nice like aluminized wood. But if it's galvanized after the weave, sometimes the icicles will hold that fence from dressing out properly. Yeah, 
we have we fight that all the time um, what he's talking about is we have gaw and gbw and then we have aluminized aluminized wires got aluminized coating on it and it holds up better in some corrosive atmospheres and then you have galvanized before which means before they weave it they have a rod that's pre-galvanized and so it just bends it and they don't have to run it through a dip tank or anything like that to galvanize it. Most home improvement stores were using a galvanized after weaving. I don't know what they're doing now. Since they run it through a hot dip galvanized bath afterwards, all those knuckles where those wires cross will kind of bond together and make it harder to dress that out. Galvanized after weaving is the most difficult wire to dress out and you really have to have a special skill set. And you'll hear it when you dress it out because it'll kind of crackle. So if you go to lift it up because it's low in a spot, you'll hear it kind of crackle and lock back into place. And you have to do, part of what you're doing is breaking those weak galvanized bonds. I totally agree. Galvanized before weaving costs a little bit more, but if you want something that dress out, dresses out much easier, galvanized before or aluminized wire would be a lot better. Easily, okay? It's just a little bit easier when it's aluminized or pre-galv. 1.2. Something else that dresses out really nice would be colored wire that's vinyl coated. Uh, your two ounce galvanized, if it's after weave, it's definitely harder to do because of the extra extra galvanizing on it just wants to hold it up. So that's our typical hanger. We use them on almost every job. We even use them on residential jobs. So hopefully what Nick will do is he'll take you out to the airport that we're working on and he'll show you how our team deals with the same problem. Uh, like I say, there's nothing wrong with the way LNC Enterprise is going about this. In fact, a lot of people use this method, but we'll show you what we do and why we do it. Until next time, have a good dang day.